Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Rina. Today I'm going to share my review of the pattern and the fabric to make this beautiful dress. Let's get started. The French sewing company, she Charlotte, offered me this pattern for a test. As you can see here, it has three different color versions and five different sleeve versions. You can make a dress or a top, short sleeves to long sleeves or bell bottom sleeves. There are so many options, you can have so much fun with the pattern. I previously made a top. It was really easy to sew and I liked the fit a lot, so I decided to make a dress this time. This is a uh, fabric I will use for today's project. It's from mineralbar.com and for free for testing the fabric. It's a Georgia fabric with medium weight and cream based, but it isn't see-through, which will be perfect for a summer dress. But this is a one-way print, so I need to lay the pattern in one direction. This is a really fun fabric which changes the print based on how the sunlight is hitting it. This will be enjoyable for kids' clothes but also for grown-ups like me. Let's move on to the next. So this was how I amended the pattern. First, I shortened the top length. I checked what length I wanted to shorten it after wearing the top, which I just made with the pattern. I cut the line around my belly button. So after I decided the length, I altered the line. I measured it from the hemline and marked the length through it, then drew the new hemline. Ta-da! Here the dress top pattern is ready. Now I'm going to show you how to make the skirt pattern. This was really easy. I basically made a 360 degree skirt. First, I measured the waistline from the top pattern. I marked the length as a star here. And this pattern includes the seam allowance, so the waist part of the skirt also includes the seam allowance as well. Next, I draw a square. The top width is the waist and the height is the skirt length. I divide it into three and cut. When you do this, please do not cut all of them. Try to leave it joined at the edge. Then I open the panels on the bottom of the another sheet of paper. Finally, I trace the new pattern piece. So this is what the skirt pattern looks like. I cut one for the front, one for the back. Here is I'm done with cutting. This is for the top and sleeves, neck, and the skirt. First, uh, I'm going to stitch around the front and back armors. Then sewing the side and underarm seams. It would have finished already if I made a top right now. Doesn't that sound so crazy? This is so easy to sew. I love it. Next, I'm going to make a boat neck color. I folded the fabric in half with the right size together and stitched the short side. Then I press the seam. The neck band now looks like a tube. I folded it in half again and stitched the bottom here to secure it. The seam I just made is the center back. Now I place the neck band to the body. 
pin each mark of the band and the top together. Then stitch around it with a serger machine. You can edit an elastic band here, but I finished it with only the overlock stitches. Here the top is done. Um, now I'm going to show you the skirt. Place the skirt panels right side together and stitch the side seams. After I finish with the side seams, I put the top and skirt right side together. And pin the front, back and both sides. Then stitch around the waist with a surgery machine. Now I only need to finish the sleeve hems and the skirt hem. I used a double needle to finish them, but if you don't have it, you can use a zigzag stitch or any kind of stretch stitch. I love the outcome. The top has a nice silhouette that makes my body slender. Like I said, I made another version of the top as a v-neck and I really like the fit and pattern. So I decided to make it as a dress with this fun fabric. I love this fabric. It will be perfect for my summer vacation. Have you enjoyed my video today? If so, please don't forget to like and subscribe and please check out this beautiful fabric and the wonderful PDF pattern details under this video. I will leave the links for your lip burns. So thank you for watching it today. I hope I can see you next time too. Happy sewing tour. Bye bye.